we're back here at Anderson Acres. It's still mucky and gucky and gross. These four are out here again. No, I still don't know where that chicken lives. Not here. I thought it was my neighbor's. Turns out it's not. We're not sure where he came. she came from. Turns out it's a hen. Anyway, <laughs> today I got a question. Well, technically yesterday. I got a question about slaughtering and processing your own chickens. So I thought it would just take a couple minutes to talk about that. I am not going to tell you how to slaughter and process your chickens. I'm not going to show you any images about how to slaughter your chickens. You can look at a pretty picture of Blackie. He's leaving. You can, I'm not going to show you images. Okay? I'm just not. And here's why. If you've never slaughtered and processed chickens before, and if you're watching this video, you probably haven't, but if you're not, if you've never done it, you need to get someone to show you how. Watching a video is not good enough. Looking at pictures is not good enough. Somebody actually needs to show you how to do it. It's not something to play around with. All right, so I am not gonna tell you how to do it. I'm just not. It's not a difficult process, but it needs to be done with care and it needs to be done with precision. You don't want to cause the birds more distress than you absolutely have to. Remember, they are living creatures. Okay? They deserve a little bit of respect. As an alternative, there are butcher, butchers that you can pay to process your birds for you. Some of them will even come to your house, pick them up, take them away, and bring you back the processed birds. I actually really recommend that consider it okay if you are going to do it yourself you can process all your meat birds at once or you can do it as needed if you have super broilers you have to process them when they're ready to be processed that's just the way it is you probably have to freeze the excess because they need to be processed you can't just leave them all right you can't so if you have your dual purpose breeds, your heritage breeds, you can process as needed. Which you do, either as needed or all at once, is really a matter of preference, but it does change how you manage your birds. If you're processing them all at once, you can freeze what you won't immediately eat and then start another group of chicks right after you've sterilized your coop. If you prefer to butcher as needed, so you're eating them fresh, you'll have to create a continuous supply of chicks by starting a new brood when the first is just four weeks old. You'll want to butcher a quarter of the older group at, eat, um, at various intervals, depending on the breed you're processing. Remember, the older the bird gets, the more uncomfortable they get if they are super broilers. So them, you're processing quickly, okay? If you're using dual purpose birds, you can literally slaughter as you want. Process them as you need them, okay? Heritage breeds, yes, they take longer to grow up, but it's just nicer. It's a nicer process. If you are going to process for meat, hello, Keely. If you are going to process for meat, please, again, I'm going to keep saying it, and anytime I talk about slaughtering, dual purpose. It just is better for everyone. <laughs> they might take a little more longer to grow up, but they stay at their ideal processing weight for a lot longer, so you have a lot more wiggle room. Butcher your roosters and excess hens whenever you need to. Older birds, however, will be less tender and more suited to stews, crock pots, and slow cookers. Younger birds are more, well, they're just better for roasting, for cooking a chicken dinner. So younger birds for that, older birds for things where a little less tender meat is okay, like stews. That is literally all we're gonna say about processing meat birds. Not gonna show you how, not gonna give you images. If you don't already know how, now if you do know how, you don't need me to show images or to tell you how to do it because you already know how to do it. If you don't know how, please get a professional to show you. It is not something that you can just randomly start doing. It's not a skill that you should try to figure out on your own okay living creatures sweet sweet creatures except you you're weird weirdo 
yes, they're very dirty because it's been pouring for days, but it's not something that you should attempt to do without someone showing you how. Okay, I know I've said it about four times now, but please do not try to do it. Don't watch a bunch of videos and then try to do it yourself. There are lots of people who can show you. Connect to your farm community and ask. Someone will be more than happy to have you come around on processing day and show you what to do. All you have to do is ask, okay? Or have a butcher do it for you. No big deal. So that's about it for Anderson Acres today. It's getting so cold. October in Canada can be a little bit chilly. It's supposed to warm up at the end of the week. And when I say warm up, I mean it's going to be a little bit above freezing. <laughs> so, until next time, enjoy your day. I hope you enjoyed our animals, and we'll see you tomorrow.